Hello, my name's Keith and I'm known as the Florida Stone Man. And today I'm gonna be talking to you all about what your angels are doing as we progress through our spiritual journey and we grow as people and we ascend and we become the highest, most beautiful version of ourselves, sometimes we get a little busy. And people sometimes feel guilty about this because they're like, I'm not connecting to my angels. I'm not ta constantly talking to my angels. And yes, I'm looking around because I'm doing a video and there's people around. But some people will be like, I'm not connecting to my angels constantly. They understand they understand you're connecting with them whether you realize it or not there's more than one way an angel can communicate with you they can talk out loud with you in both your ears outside your ears is a form of clear audience inside your head sometimes you'll think it's your thoughts it's actually them especially the intuition and they'll also even when your angels are kind of quiet sometimes that's not your angels being quiet. Sometimes they actually communicate with you telepathically. So that's three things you know that your angels are doing when you're busy. And it's three things that your angels are already doing that you might know of, might not know of. I remember one time, yes, I'm paying attention to people walking up behind the car. Doors are locked, cool. <laughs> but uh, when it comes to, and yeah, people in Florida are sneaky, so you'll see me bobbing and weaving my head because I don't take chances. I don't take chances, okay? And yes. Okay. So, when, okay, little secret is if a person's not a problem, you might see a rainbow around their aura. Certain angels will help you see that. So, if you're trying to figure out if a person's good or bad, look at the aura. If you see a rainbow, it means the person's fine. They're checking out. Your angel has checked them out. Cool. <laughs> How cool. So sometimes when I look to see if someone's a threat, if I see the rainbow in the aura, I'm like, okay, cool, the angels have scoped them. That's one thing your angels are doing as well. That's a wonderful point. I'm glad that uh, popped up. Your angels are sometimes doing stuff. Sometimes they're scoping people. How cool, how wonderful and awesome and amazing. So there's three people. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this right now. There's three people walking away two of them i see the rainbow aura one of them's like a broken hair a broken rainbow aura basically means that person feels like yelling and screaming okay so it's just an example or uh the person carries some attachment so they're someone to keep an eye on so if you don't see the full rainbow aura then or if the if the rainbow aura breaks it means there's someone to keep your eye on cool i just thought something cool about because the Angels will scope people out. They'll, and especially if you play little games with your angels, so maybe you're, you don't always see a rainbow aura. What if you don't see any aura? Then you have to, that could be the key word between you and your angels to watch out. Now your angels are telepathic and brachials uh, around the car as well. So I'll introduce you to more individual angels. So brachial's a wonderful angel. He's an amazing angel. So that's one angel you guys can talk to. Brachial, um, St. Michael the Archangel, of course. Raphael, uh, Gabriel, there's a whole bunch of angels. Jophiel, Sandalphon, there's a lot of angels. And they all love you very much because when you talk to God, he sends beautiful angels whether you know it or not. Whether, whether you feel like you're deserving of angels or not because God loves you that much anyway. But your angels are scoping people out. So when you see me do this, this in videos and, and scope things out and look around, that's me scoping around. But my angels have scoped around much much further before that so let's talk about what angels are not doing for people sometimes so if someone's a really bad person the angels will scope uh or if they if someone has a really bad person they have angels because they might get better one day the angels will scope out but they'll just watch the person and not warn the person or they'll let whatever happens happens sometimes someone just has a really really dark intention and one thing your angel might do is just like look at their demons and just be like try it try it i'm an angel of the lord i am the, i am an angel of the lord you're not gonna you're not gonna you, you won't you won't go near my person so that's why they're called guarding angels so how cool so one thing that your angels are doing is sometimes they get ahead of you that's why i tell you guys not to rush and florida's pretty interesting so don't just be people here a cat's popping out of bushes on the beach uh people getting clothes out of the bush i'm just like 
those what you think about florida is pretty accurate because it's pretty random <laughs> that's why i like the other spot that i do videos in but when it comes to angels they're awesome they they scope out pretty far ahead they are making sure things are okay for you if they're not okay then you'll get an intuition and sometimes you, you really gotta make sure your your intuition comes directly from god directly from god you must talk to the most high god you must ask him god please defend me from danger because sometimes your angel can't cross a certain line sometimes like for example they need a certain level of strength let's, let's just say you like if you feel like there's something bad around then your heart beats a certain way or you just have a signal like oh some people like oh my left cheek is dancing or like for example like oh i i feel a heat on my shoulder that's my angels warning me that, that danger is near because sometimes your angels can't always do that versus oh this this cool feeling is mean it means the area is cool or it checks out so your angels can't always do that because they're on a very high vibration earth is imagine how low vibration i'm not saying yeah earth is lowly even the bible states that earth is a very lowly state so when we get to heaven it's a very high frequency it's a very it's just it's something we can't imagine we can kind of imagine but earth is mm, lower vibration at the point where demons can dwell here angels do their best so for your angel to go the extra line to be able to help you you have to ask god because god can do way more than give them energy sometimes he can he can surprise you god is full of beautiful loving amazing surprises he will always surprise you in amazing beautiful ways so back to talking about what your angels can do for you is scope things out so what your angels can do for you what your angels are doing for you what do you mean can do they can do anything they want they're beings of god they are they serve the most high god so through the lord anything is possible and let me say this right now they're not your servants they're a beautiful family they're beautiful family members they're beautiful helpers to humanity you're gonna be friends with your i mean some people won't some people will so for people who are close to your angels your entire afterlife is with them so they're they're not your they don't do your bidding they are friends like they're not gonna you're not gonna force them to do readings because more likely than not and, and angels don't do readings like that they don't when you're pulling tarot cards your ain't the last thing your angel wants to do after a day of defending you is be like oh the wheel of fortune strength a tower uh ace of pentacles it's like your angel, does, your angel doesn't want to do that so one thing your, your angel does like doing is helping you being around you just being with you standing next to you talking to you so these are things that you don't even know your angel is doing because they just that's what they do it's like you're asking them questions and reading sometimes they're just like i don't know <laughs> i mean i'm with you like sometimes they're chilling with you and they're just like well i'm hanging out with you why are you trying to ask me about what's going on over there like do you want me to go over there do you want me to leave you to walk over there of course they're interdimensional but they're concentrating their energies on being with you so that you're protected so angels i mean spirits will do readings like that spirits will just not all spirits but some spirits will just bounce like oh i'm gonna monitor this person over here oh uh let's just say uh let's pick a random name let's just say like jane doe for example jane is picking her nose in the mirror <laughs> like that's what spirits do like they'll be nose they'll be flat out nosy they'll just say random stuff they'll just be like ah, she's and oh this person before she goes to work i mean before she or he goes to work they're twerking in the mirror like that's what spirits will do they'll just be flat out nosy angels will be like this is what you have to do to be able to achieve your help today you'll have to talk to god today like for example they'll talk they'll be very straight up they're not gonna they're not low vibration and when you talk when you have conversations with angels too they're pretty amazing they're very simple they're not earthly at all so for example when you ask an, an angel like what's your favorite color they'll probably say all of them or i like this color or this color is good all all the all the colors cool they're like well what's your favorite item well they won't really say a favorite item they're like well i like crystals they're they're just and people are like well that's boring no it's just not earthly some people think that uh staying at home on a friday night or a saturday night is boring versus going to bars and clubs some things we do are earthly but 
that's why it gets older with i mean when you get old not old when you grow older or become wiser become wiser you don't go uh hanging out in bars and clubs every single night and day i'm not calling any of you out but yeah so let's talk about that's a good one what what happens when you're in bars and clubs and when your angels are around like do you think that, that well they're in bars and clubs like they, they can't really do anything with me yeah they can they can just stick around you they can protect you but they won't be talking to you they will not be sending you messages like that they won't be they won't be just interacting with you. they'll be protecting you strictly protecting you they don't want to talk to you when you're out bars and clubs because you open yourself up to other things you'll start hearing things that are not your angels so uh and if you ever see someone trying to talk to their guides in a bar or club very dangerous very dangerous i've only ever tried it once a long time ago and immediately heard something that was not my angel i'm like my angels kind of yell at me they're like well we told you and i was that that was when i was younger People are like well, well we, we told you don't talk try to talk to us when you're around people drinking like that i'm like oh okay it's like because you'll hear something that's very obvious about that that's just not your angel you hear something that's like take off the cross it's like that's the difference between angels and demons is because demons will just fight out entertain you uh they'll laugh at certain things that are just like are just not funny for example if you fall down a, and this is a good example because people who have guardian demons they'll their guardian demon will push them down a staircase just to laugh angels will just be like that's not funny because they'll laugh at whatever makes them laugh if you fall down a staircase is hilarious to them they're gonna push you it's that easy uh, and yes, it is that easy. And then they'll laugh, and then energy of pain is put off, and they collect the energy of pain, etc. But when it comes to guardian angels, they're protecting you. What else are your angels doing when you don't really know? They're praying for you. They're praying with you. A little secret is, uh, you know how you get all these sensations when you pray? It's literally your angels joining you in prayer. All your angels they come together and pray with you like a congregation how cool is that you're never alone they're keeping things away they're they're literally because when we when we talk to god there's literally a cord that goes straight up you've heard of the silver cord but when you and there's a actually a a thing online so basically when you do this when you put your hands together to pray it activates the it basically the string of the string of where the uh the lay of energy goes up goes straight to god so this is when you pray like this or when you pray like with your hand like that it's very important it makes an actual energy string so they're connecting you directly to god because what happens when you connect to god and you're not when, what happens when you pray and you're not connecting connected to god you get distracted you don't focus on the message you're thinking of other things you're worrying you're asking for things differently or you're talking to him differently so it affects your whole connection with god when you don't have these angels around that's why when certain people pray who've done really bad things they'll pray and they'll start getting sick when they pray they'll start and they're like why does this happen when i pray it's because you've inherited some form of attachment or your angels are not that uh need some kind of help or prayers themselves because they're so tired of helping you i'm not saying so tired of helping you sometimes after a whole day of keeping stuff away they're just like huh, okay and they just would like to relax they like they just like to rest now what are your angels not doing try to they're not trying to impress you if an for example if you go through your, your entire life some people will go their entire life and not know their angel's name they don't do things to be known they do things for the glory of doing them for the for the sake of being good they're amazing beings of light they love you they're always talking to you if you if you get busy sometimes and you're not talking to your angels you're telepathically communicating with them so don't feel guilty so it's not too big of a deal if you don't talk to them all the time although i suggest you talk to them during meditation you make time in the day to talk to them ask them how their day was and for the people who fully watch my videos i do appreciate when people fully watch the videos and fully get knowledge because i'm not teaching half knowledge I'm not sugarcoating anything. I'm teaching full knowledge. And if you see me looking up like this, it's because there's people coming around again. And angels. But uh, another thing too, if you're busy throughout your day, and this is a little uh, clairvoyant exercise that you can practice with your angels, even if you're busy, even if you're not, uh, even when you're talking to your angels and 
let's just for, say like for example if you're talking to your angel how was your day today uh you can close your eyes you can open your eyes and for give it a couple seconds and three seconds after asking wait for a, like a they'll show you like a movie in your mind's eye or outside your mind's eye it's like one two three you'll just see a quick a quick vision or a quick clip so for example you can say to your angel what was your favorite part of your, uh, what was your favorite part of the day and for example like three seconds will go by you'll see just something random like for example my angel just showed me rain 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 in the front yard so the angel enjoyed when it was raining and the plants were getting watered for example now you can connect your angels very individually try that little exercise it'll open your clairvoyance and it'll go past three seconds or it might be a little, and if it doesn't come immediately then wait then wait be patient but to get crystals that'll help you move closer to your angels you can go to floridastonian.com for blessed crystals from an angelologist someone who specializes in helping you guys move closer with your angels through the most high god now i'm gonna get off of here guys if you have any questions ask them in the comment section until then i'll see you guys next time ciao